Picard's hair are vigilant. There. And that one is dressed as the priest. Follow my lead. An unknown enemy. Come, we must bring news of this to Kira. I'm with you. You handled yourself well, Eivor. I have to say, you really are no stranger to these sorts of encounters. You did not do so bad yourself. Aye, we stopped the death of a king this day. If only we knew who was behind it. No idea who would go to such lengths. You can take your pick of the Northern E Nail Kings, though it is the kings of Ulster who particularly dislike Flon. Different king, same story. story the priest is dead and so too are his killers bandits I found this it's an order to kill Flon one of them was to disguise himself as a priest cut Flon's throat during the coronation right under our noses why take the risk why not poison or striking at him in his sleep poison can fail and to kill him in his sleep lacks spectacle but your point is sound. The killer would not have made it out alive. He was ready to die. Whoever plotted this is intent on seeing Flan fall. We need to warn him. After the coronation, I will not have this gnawing at him. Flan earned this. He will enjoy it. Meet him afterward at his quarters in Duro. He will make time for you there. Now, if you will take my excuses, I need to tidy up. Come along, Eivor. The water was not that murky, was it? You don't know much about the role of a poetess, do you, Eivor? Enlighten me. I will. Well, what are you waiting for? I asked to be excused. That meant you as well.
I see other kings here. News of Flan's inauguration has reached far and wide. Come, we should join them. Is that him, Flan? Yes. What are they doing? Blessing him. Abbot Owen is the highest ranking official among the Christians. His blessing asserts that Flan is ready to fill the boots of his predecessor. It is all done before the Leah Fall, a sacred stone that is said to endow the rightful kings with long reigns. Does it work? Depends on what you consider long. Coronations alone. Where's the food? You have not changed. I'm here. I may as well enjoy myself. Flan for it in And with that, Flan's enemies multiply. This warring of dynasties runs deep. If he is a smart king, we'll be eager for allies. Smart he is, but also impassioned. His plan to subdue the North is not driven by power so much as it is bloodlust. Back there on our ride from Dublin, Kira made it seem there was more to you and Flan. What am I missing? A uh, detail. A large detail. You see, the northern king who crowned me, Ed Findlia, he murdered Flan's father and took his place as high king. Then, as is custom, he married Flan's mother. Safe to say there's no love lost between you. None. To Flan, Ed was a venomous snake, and so too are the ones he favored. Winning his trust will be no simple task. We just thwarted an attempt on his life. That should at least perk his ears up. Let us hope. I will leave immediately for Duro. Meet me there as soon as you can.
I should not be seen in this area. For a quiet moment. Thor lends me strength.
Go, Sunan. Relax your shoulders. He has as much to gain from this as we do. We welcome you to Doro. It has been a long time. Thank you for meeting with me, Lord. I trust our gift was well received. Exotic spices, all of which are foreign to me. I am impressed. Only a taste of things to come. Dublin will soon be known as the pillar of Ireland's trade. To a long life and prosperous reign, my king. Such fealty. <laughs> you honor me. You must be Eivor. My gratitude. ...for your selfless actions and what preceded my coronation. Lord... ...it seems my enemies could not wait for my reign to begin... ...before trying to put an end to it. An old tale between Northern and Southern Ian Ale, I'm afraid. But it's one whose ending I will be the author of. Planning a war? A high king should have control over his land. And I shall. If it takes a bloody war... ...I must be prepared for it. Dublin's trade has plenty to offer and plenty of stout fighters, Eivor included, ready to fight alongside you. I appreciate your desire to strengthen the ties between Meath and Dublin. And as much as I find myself in need of aid, it appears you find yourself undermined by your own people. What do you mean? During the coronation, a monastery was raided and a Christian text was lost. The Book of Kells. Dublin Danes are to blame. Your support would be of great help, let me be clear. But this capriciousness will sooner harm me than help me. If I retrieve the book, set straight the ones who did this, would you welcome Bardith into your court? It would help. These Danes, you know where they are? In a bog in Inch Row, just north of here. Eivor, this is my responsibility. Remain here. I'll see it done.
confirms Florence's information. The book should be here somewhere. I need your eyes, my friend. Show me what lies ahead. to get on the other side. What do you see? Right, surely. Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Stretch your wings, Sunan. What do you see, Sunan? It's you. It's you. <sighs> Thought we told you to leave, Thorstein. Ah, uh, uh, leave Dublin. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but <laughs> this is not Dublin. You did not understand you were not to be seen again. Oh, come now. How was I to know you would find your way out here? Why are you here? Looking for a book you stole. You raided a monastery recently. Oh, it was several monasteries, actually. These new friends of mine do not tire easily. The book is important to the Christians. I need it back. The Christians? Ha! <laughs> See? You are an Irish lapdog. <laughs> I, I... I do not have it. Are you upset? <laughs> Please do not be upset. You are upset, uh... I am running out of reasons to let you live. Uh, I know where it is. Boing tombs. Some strange folks offered me this hoard for it. I could not resist. Could you? See? You understand. We are very alike, you and I. I, I could just as well be your brother. I Do not kill me. Thorstein, your blood is not worthy of my steel. I could not agree more. Now vanish. I mean it this time. A third encounter you will not walk away from. Oh, I am through with Ireland. My ankles ache for how I must dance around all of these kings. It offers nothing. Except for this. I will just take this. And this. <laughs> Wait. 
remember? <laughs>
Tread carefully. These must be the people who bought the book from Thorstein. Asked about this lad, my friend.
see you, old friend. secretive. Book. Have you found it? Its popularity is ever increasing. This is Owen, Abbot of Armagh. The book is for him. I remember. From the coronation. I pray you did not have to endure much to reclaim this. A small price to ensure the High King's patronage. What's this? Lord. You are chosen High King by God Almighty. These are pagans. I, I mean no disrespect. You have no say here. This is between two kings. I only mean to warn Flan of the possible implications. Nothing more. And I am well aware of them, Abbot. I have spoken past what is right. I will take my leave. Lord, please excuse this clumsy intrusion. No need. I am glad to see the book is back in good hands.
is colorful. I do not blame the abbot for raising alarm. History dictates he has every reason to. What is your report? I have dealt with the leader in the bark. He will have no more problems coming out of Dublin. Then we shall turn our eyes to the problem at hand. Ulster is using its power to sway Connacht. An allegiance that must be snuffed before it takes flame. For that, we need to gain support from the other kingdoms. Speak with Kira. She will guide you in this. I shall return to Dublin to gather men and resources for the march. I welcome them. When we are strong enough, we will meet at Knock Free and devise a strategy. You were gone some time. What happened? The book was in the hands of a strange cult. They procured it from Thorstein. I was weak to spare him. My own son knew better. Chin up, buddy. They have come into favor with the High King. I will feel better the day Flan's trust in me is not shadowed by doubt. Back to Dublin I go. Talk to Kira. We must gain favor with the other kings, quickly. to see you. I reckon Flan and Barith have found common ground, seeing as you're still here. They have. Ara, and how much of your charm seeped into that conversation? I merely showed the High King I'm a Norse he can trust. It is more than that. You've certainly left your mark here. Sure, I think Flan is fond of you. You're kind to butter me, but it's not why I've come. We need to curry favor with as many kingdoms as we can. Flan said you could help with that. Aye. The kings of Ireland have long sent their grievances to the High King's court, in hopes their pleas be heard. Their problems range from petty squabbles to larger issues. I've taken the liberty of sifting through them, choosing the ones that might elicit the best response. I see. The bigger the favor, the bigger the reward. There you have it. Keep an eye out for pigeon coops. That's where I'll leave any noteworthy tasks. Help solve their woes, and the kings will pay tribute with the men and supplies we need to invade Ulster. <laughs>